Hi everyone, it's Lumi Tunes, and today I'll be teaching you how to make this spinal chill bracelet on your finger loom. You can buy the finger loom on rainbowloom.com, and it is available for $4 with a pack of rubber bands and C clips. Today I'll be using these two colors, pink and black, but I recommend using a triple a color with three colors on it. I used the purple potion bands from Rainbow Loom's Halloween collection, so it gave off a really Halloween effect. But I'm going to make mine a little bit more like happy and using pink lemonade and black. So let's get started. To start, take one band and Twist it so well. First, put it on one peg, then twist it onto another, and then twist it, grab it, and twist it onto another. So it's on three pegs. Here, wait one second. The thing about the finger loom is that it really doesn't like cooperating when you want to place it on quite a few um, things. So I'm just going to use my hook to get it on. But of course, you can use your fingers because that's what the finger is for. Okay. So once you've done that, you can take your second color and place it among these two bands. And then take your first color again and place it on these bands and loop these over. Whoops, not this one. Not that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm kind of messing up on this tutorial. But okay, wait. Yes, you do loop this one. Okay, you loop all three over. Sorry about that. I have not made this in a while. So, whoops. Yeah. Take your second color and place it on. And loop over this side and this side. The ones with that color. And then take your first color and put it on all three and loop it over. When using a band that has three colors on it, make sure to spread them out evenly through each three of the pegs because that's what gives off the nice effect. So now take the other color. I'm using the pink and loop it. I was inspired to make this bracelet by the, I forget what it's called right now, but it's by Rainbow Loom. I'll have it right here, hopefully, and I'll have a link in the description box down below. I might forget, so sorry about that if I do. Because I often forget about that. So placing the second collar on it and looping all three pegs over. So you're you should start getting the feel for this design. It is a pretty simple design, but it does take a while. So yeah. I made this when I first got my finger loom in early October. October's almost over now. This is one of my Halloween designs, so yeah, I will have some other crafts other than just rainbow and designs for Halloween. So you don't have to be only rainbow and wearing rainbow and bracelets on Halloween. So you can have, um, we're trying to get a rain, like a um, actually a smoothie 
up like a pumpkin smoothie or something but that's my what my sister is doing and we're gonna have a pumpkin polymer clay charm so that'll be cool sorry for all this stuff being up so late it's just you know I didn't really have time and I didn't realize how many designs I really had to get up in this short period of time so I'm just uploading a bunch of stuff this weekend as you can see hopefully I'll gain a few subscribers from that okay as you can see it's starting to take shape it looks really cool it looks kind of normal fishtailish on three of the sides and then one of the sides looks like really cool I actually don't know if someone's actually made this bracelet, so I, I don't know. Sorry if someone has made this bracelet before. And please tell me if someone has made this bracelet before. And I'll put it in the caption and stuff. Or the description. Whatever you call it. I will also have like a October Halloween themed question and answer video for you guys up hopefully it's not you guys your guys' questions so I'm just gonna like find a website with a bunch of random questions to ask yourself about Halloween <laughs> I don't know So, yeah, you're probably getting the main idea of this design. It's simple, easy, nice design. These colors don't really show like Halloween, but they are cool. And the thing about this is that the white is going to go in the dark on Halloween, so that's going to be really cool. The glow in the dark bands would be awesome for Halloween, so I totally recommend using any kind of bands you have that glow in the dark. Because who doesn't like glow in the dark stuff? I sure do like glow in the dark stuff. Except it never really comes in handy because I'm usually asleep when it's dark, so I don't know. <laughs> but like when you're at parties or something and it's dark, or playing with your friends in the dark or something. They're doing something in the dark. It's always cool to just have glow in the dark bracelets. Who doesn't look like that? Okay, I'm not really going to talk very much now because I'm pretty much just, there's nothing really left to say about this design. The rest of this, I'm just going to, okay, I'm going to do the rest of this off screen and I'll show you how to close the bracelet. Oh, and just so you know, you can use your finger loom little clip and clip it onto like your pants or something if you're going to loom on the go or if you need to go somewhere and you're going to loom there, then you can just bring it really easily like that. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier, but yeah. I also forgot to mention that you can actually make this on any loom. It's pretty easy just to change it into onto the monster tail or the rainbow loom, but I won't have any separate tutorials for those. I've completed the full length of my bracelet, so it looks a little something like this. It does tend to curl, so you would get a look like this on your wrist, but oh well. So you're gonna have to be on this stitch so just pull these over like normal 
and then pull the pink ones over. And you can go ahead and use your hook for this part if you want to, because this part is a little tricky. Um, so just pull all them onto this pin. Then take a clip. This is a large C clip. And put the C put the three bands or the one band on the C clip. So we got something like this. And then hook them onto your other bands. Okay. There. Like that. So I was inspired by this bracelet. I think it's called the Fishbone or the Wishbone bracelet. It's by Official Rainbow Loom, the Official Rainbow Loom YouTube channel. I'll have links down in the description box below. But thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And like, com like and subscribe for more videos. And comment below what you're going to be for Halloween and what colors you use for this bracelet. And thank you, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. And check out my Instagram at Lumatoons underscore. I'll have it right here and in the description box down below. So thanks for watching and happy Halloween.